So, the first thing we're going to do is zoom in, like so, and we're going to get our split polygon tool, mesh edit, edge slice. It's called split polygon, I think, in Maya or Maya. So, in here, it's edge slice. So I'm going to select edge slice, and I'm going to zoom in here, and we're going to try to roughly lay this out so let's go ahead and cut right up through here like this on this outer edge I'll get rid of that little edge here in a minute so there's really nothing we can do besides take our time and we'll fix all this geometry it's not a problem don't worry to here like this then we'll hold the shift key and click right here to start a new and we'll go all the way down to that corner like so now let's go over here actually let's get rid of that little edge first there we go now let's go ahead and cut this side. If you really do this a lot, you ought to consider a Wacom tablet, like I myself have. It's a lot smoother, a lot faster for certain things. Now some things you don't want a Wacom. Some things just a good old three button mouse is your best bet on, on a lot of stuff. I mean even with a, a pen, a lot of people love it and use it for everything, but usually with me, I use my Wacom for just, just a few things. My artistic stuff, my compositing and stuff like that. I don't like to use it as a mouse, but that don't mean you can't. I mean, several people have and, and do daily. Huh. Okay, now we have that outlined. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and run an inner slice so let's start here and we'll crudely go all the way around this side again Remember, it don't have to be perfect. Just to, uh, uh, you know, know what it, what it is you're doing because I don't think too many of us are going to have big, nice close-ups on these wings. I mean, if you plan on doing that, uh, by all means, take more time with this. go to my polygon mode and I'm going to select all these inner polygons of that inner loop that we just created about like so and I'm going to hit command X and cut that thing out of there then I'm going to select these polygons kill them and when I go into sub D mode everything holds really nicely polygon mode sub D mode polygon mode so the only thing left to do is add a few cuts right in here. So we want to cut right down through the middle. I'm using my slot my slice tool to do this. Like so. Let's go through and make sure all of our verts are happy happy 
So now let's hit Shift C and bring back our slide tool again. And I'm going to cut a line on either side of that line right there. Like so. When I hit the Tab key, you can see that sharp corner holds really tight now. Let's do the same up here. We'll get our slice key, our slice tool of Shift C, and we will slice right down the center like this. Looks good. Oh, okay, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and join our points okay now let's add one on either side like so and that holds that side. Now all I want you to do is tighten up here. Like, like before, we'll put one on either side here. And that holds. Now our wing is holding completely. Let's go to a new mesh item. Paste that piece we just copied out of there inside there. And now we can go ahead and run some loops or loop slice or regular slice with the shift C. Run right down through there like this. Suggest it. So, now let's go ahead and run two more slices on either side of it. Like so. Like so. Now that makes that hold, this is holding, and our geometry isn't too bad. As a matter of fact, you can go in and get rid of whatever geometry you, you want to. So now we have some loose geometry and our wing fits real tight. Let's go into our perspective view here. Let's turn off our backdrop. Let's cut this out. Put it back in with our wing. Polygon mode selected. I'm going to pull it down a little bit like so. So I'm going to select both these and I'm going to run the thicken or the smooth shift on them and give them a little thickness like so. So let's go ahead and run our loop slices, count of two symmetry around the side like that and of course around this one too. Now all we gotta do is go in here and fix up a lot of this foobar geometry, which I'm expecting you all can do. On your own. Get rid of that piece there. Because if you're keeping along with this, you're probably fairly capable of doing 3D work. Okay. Now that's that. Everything looks smooth and, and holding up real good. This is a little bumpy right here. I don't like that. So I'll get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. And that takes care of those little bumps on the side there. Okay, now we got some good smooth flowing geometry. And um, we've got this now. 
I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. Bring it up. Hit the R key. Scale it real close together. Now we got two pieces, right? Let's bring these back up into place. Like so. Take the smaller piece. Rotate it. Bring it back and up. Okay. Now we are roughly got our wings and stuff laid in. 